guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bit of like a beauty travel related kind of video. Um, I know my hair is a bit of a mess and it needs a wash and my skin's not great, I'm getting a big spot and a bit of dryness. Um, but if we can just try and ignore that, that would be great. So I've recently just been away. As I'm filming this, I got back yesterday. Um, it's currently Saturday, 20, Saturday the 27th of July. I got back yesterday afternoon, about one o'clock-ish, like half one, um, so that was Friday 25th, <coughs> and um, yeah, I'm just currently like unpacking and sorting things out a bit, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I took. Um, I tried to keep it as organised as possible and tried to keep it like the same as when I first went away in the first place kind of thing, um, so it shouldn't really be that different to when I first went away compared to now when I'm back. So. First, I have these two toiletry bags. I got both of them from Primark like a year ago, two years ago, I can't remember exactly when. Um, so this one's just patterned on the front with a white top and then black around the rest of it. And this one's just black and white stripy all over it with like a tassel zip. And that one's just got like a thin metal zip. So I'm just gonna go through this one first. So the first thing I'm pulling out is my cleanser. I did take a few like skincare products because I wanted to do like, a skincare routine while I was away but I didn't actually get a chance to do a skincare routine while I was away because we just there was so much going on like so many things to do that I just didn't get like a free spare half an hour to an hour to do like, a skincare routine so yeah I had my cleanser with me my mum used it a little bit to try and get some like eyelash glue off her face because we attempted to do eyelashes but yeah <coughs> other than that I didn't end up using it and um, this is just a cheap cleanser that I got from like Poundland and then put into this travel bottle. It's just like a micellar cleansing water. Next I just have I just have a spare pack of my Cerizet pill. My pack of like Cerizet pills that I was using I think is in my handbag or suitcase still. And then I just got these like cold and flu day and night capsules, Tesco Max, just in case I got ill while I was there or needed them. Or whatever like illness um, I, I have got a bit of the sniffles now so I think I picked up some sort of germs while I was there because I was fine when I went away but now I'm sort of like feel a little bit blocked and st stuffy in my nose next I just have some shampoo and conditioner which I took out of the original bottles and then put some into these I didn't use obviously as you guys can tell I didn't use like that much of it um I showered once while I was there and like washed my hair once while I was there um, and then just sort of wiped myself down for the rest of the time I was there um, because we got there Monday afternoon and then left Friday morning so it was like sort of like four and a half days five days um, but yeah next I've got this body lotion um, this is one that I took out of the original bottle and then put into here um, I got these travel bottles from as a set from Primark for a pound so definitely check out Primark for travel bottles if you need any um, I think this was like Vanderwalt, I think. It's like a pink one, it smells really good. It was a body, body lotion that I got as a gift, like ages ago, and um, yeah. But I took that just in case I wanted it, um, which I didn't end up using, because like I said, I didn't get much spare time at all to like do like skincare routine or whatever, or like pampering, but yeah, I had that. And then I took this vanilla, so body mist, which I also didn't end up using this one because I ended up using my other ones that I had. Um, but yeah, I had that as like backup. It does smell really good. You can get them from like Tesco's and Wilco's and there's like so many different flavors. I've also had the grapefruit one of this, which was really good. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend. And then I have this mouthwash, which I didn't end up using. Um, this was out of a like mouthwash bottle that I got from Tesco's or co-op like ages ago. And um, yeah, I had that for backup just in case. And then I had a nail varnish and a top coat um, in case I wanted to do my nails or in case we got time to do our nails. But again, we didn't really have much time. Plus by the end of the day, like by the end of each day, we were like really tired. So we didn't want to do it in the evening. Um, but I had them just in case I did want to or did have time to like do my nails. But yeah. And then I just had this little body slate that my mum gave me because she got like a few small ones ages ago. Um, I can't remember exactly what flavour this is because the label sort of come off 
um, something with coffee. Rose, card, cardamom, and coffee. Okay, it smells really good. Definitely recommend. And I think I've got like little petals in it or something. It smells really good. And then I just have a little like sort of eyeliner, eyebrow pencil, sharpener, and some mini tweezers. And that is everything for this little makeup bag, toiletries bag. So, next one. I just have my Skin Therapy Tea Tree Moisturising Lotion with Pore Tightening Witch Hazel. I've been using this for a while now, I use it quite a few times. I think I'm at least halfway through this, if not most of the way through. I think I've got probably about that much left. Um, I didn't end up using this while I was away. Again, like I said, I didn't really get a chance to like pamper myself or do like skincare or whatever. Um, but yeah, I had that in case I did on it. Plus, my skin didn't really get that dry while I was away because it was so hot so we were like sweating a lot and also because it was so sunny and warm that I think the sun helped with like my dry skin on my face um, and my arms and stuff so I didn't really need to use that in the end but it's really good I got it from Wilco's I think ages ago and um, would definitely recommend it and it was quite cheap slash fairly priced so I would definitely recommend and then I took this Witch Naturally Clear with Witch Hazel Extract Blemish Gel because I have been getting spotty recently and before I went away I had a fair few like little blemishes and mini spots around here like sort of chin area um, and obviously I'm getting one now um, but I took that just in case I wanted to do skincare or wanted to use it on my spots or if like my spots got worse and stuff I had that I think I actually got that from Poundland like ages ago and it's really good I really like it and I just took my Hydrocortisone um, eczema cream because I I've literally had eczema all my life. I've literally never not had it to be fair. Um, the only time that I can completely get rid of my eczema is if I keep like going out in the sun when it's warm, like in sort of minimal clothing um, and like sort of get as much sun as possible and then that can completely get rid of my eczema. But then as soon as the sun goes away and it gets like to the end of summer, my eczema will come back. Um, but yeah, being out in the sun a lot is like the only way I can completely get rid of my eczema for a little while but even with that it will still come back I, I'm still always going to have it but yeah I have my eczema cream um, because I do need it sometimes I sort of neglect myself and don't really use it that much um, which I should use it very regularly but I don't always but yeah so <laughs> I have that and then I took these dental floss harps because I did want to use them because I haven't used them yet um, these are from Tesco's um, I didn't end up using them while I was away, um, but luckily I didn't really need them that much. Um, and I was kind of like, yeah, just kind of forgot I had them for a little bit as well, but I did, I did have them if I wanted them. And then I had this little sort of roll on Sure Motion Sense Cotton Dry Dry and Fresh Confidence 48 Hour Antiperspirant Deodorant for backup. Then I took my Bupanthin cream, which is like a rash cream. Um, I took it just in case. Um, I actually used this on all of my three tattoos that I got when they were healing. Um, and it's done wonders. I literally had this tube for like, this one tube for like a year and a half. Um, I don't know if it's gone off, but it seems to still be working fine. I took it with me just in case I needed to like put it on my recent wrist tattoo or like if I got a rash or something. And then I took this Grab and Go Breath Freshening Spray Sugar Sugar Free Fresh Mint, which is from Tesco's. I don't usually use mouth sprays or like, you know, breath sprays or whatever, but I took it just in case I wanted it while I was out. Um, yeah. And then I took this um, Beautifully Scrumptious Kale Face Mask, or Hail for Kale. Um, so like I said, I did want to do skincare while I was away, but I didn't really get to, so yeah. And that is everything in this little makeup slash toiletries bag, apart from a couple of hair grips in the bottom. But the next sort of toiletry thing I took that wasn't in those little bags uh, was some makeup wipes because I did take my makeup because I wanted to make my makeup while I was away. I think I only did my makeup like twice while I was there just because it was too hot and like we were too sweaty. Um, <clears throat> but I did have them just to help also take off my makeup when I do wear my makeup. 
um, and also really good to like wipe myself down if you get a bit hot, sweaty or dirty. So yeah, there we go. These are the Johnson's Makeup Be Gone 5 in 1 Refreshing Cleansing Wipes for normal skin. And yeah, they're quite like sort of moist, so they're very nice. Then I took this Garnier Ambre Solaire, Solaire Protection Lotion Ultra Hydrating, very high SPF, 50 plus. 24 hour hydration, quick absorbent, vitamin C, non greasy, water resistant sun cream. <laughs> um, I don't use sun cream that much, um, I only use it if it's like if I feel like I need to, um, like now and again, um, or like I just put it over my tattoos so then they don't get like too faded out in the sun. But um, yeah, I had that just in case I needed it or wanted it, which I didn't end up using while I was away. But um, yeah, it's always very handy to have if you're going away, like abroad or when it's like hot and sunny. And then I took this Clean and Clear Deep Action Clean Wash Oil Free by Johnson & Johnson, 150ml. Because like I said, I like to do skincare routine and keep fresh. And I did want to do skincare while I was away, but I didn't get to use it. Um, just because our holiday was quite hectic with all the events and shows going on and all the things we wanted to do. And um, yeah. And I took this little like face scrubby brush thing. I don't really know like a technical name for it or whatever. It's like a face scrubbing brush so like you can use it when you're doing like skincare. Um, yeah but I didn't get to use that because I didn't get to do my skincare so I didn't end up needing it in the end. Um, I can't remember where I got it exactly. I think it was a gift. Like it was a part of like, a gift set that I got given for like birthday or Christmas or something. But yeah, always handy if you want to do skincare. And then I took toothbrush and toothpaste, obviously essentials when you're at home or going away. Um, yeah, I just, what to, I don't even know what type of toothbrush this is. Got it from Tesco's, I think. And then I just had this Colgate Total Whitening Toothpaste, which is very good, would definitely friend. And I just kept it on one of these like, little like, food bag things so it didn't like, leak or whatever. And then I did take like my hair dye stuff just because I was worried about like my roots coming through and my hair fading out while I was away. So I did take my hair dye stuff, but I took it all out of the box and put it into one of these bags. Um, just in case I did need to touch up my hair while I was away because I didn't want to go around looking weird with roots or faded out hair while I was away. So just all of my hair dyeing essentials, gloves, um, much worse developer colour cream and care conditioner and then also to take my hairbrush um, you always need a hairbrush <laughs> everyone uses a hairbrush well most people at least and then also I just have my towels I just have like a little towel to like towel dry my hair um, and then my big towel to like dry off my body um, essentials as well really and yeah so that's all the sort of like toiletry bit toiletry pieces that I took and like things I took to help me get ready and to like look after myself while I was away and to be hygienic. Um, I also took my hair dryer which is just a MHG my hairdresser hair dryer. Um, it's quite good, my mum got it for me as like a birthday Christmas or general gift like ages ago, like at least a year or two ago. Um, yeah, obviously when I had a shower I needed to dry my hair. And then I also took my hair straighteners because I wanted to straighten my hair while I was away, which I only ended up doing like once. These are just Remington Keratin Therapy hair straighteners. Very good, would definitely recommend if you can get these ones. And yeah, so that's all of that that I took. I'm gonna do like a sort of what's in my makeup bag video in a minute so I can show you guys what makeup sort of bits I took with me. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for that. That will be up after this video, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, so, but this video and the what's in my makeup bag kind of video will be up like next to each other. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family. And you know, it's three ways to help me out and also turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video also another free way to help me out and um, yeah, share the love in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys